All right, guys, in today's video, we are looking at the Anchor Solex F1500, which is actually powered by two solar panels that are 200 watts, totaling an output of 400 watts. As you guys can see right here, they're just laying on top of my gazebo, but onto the video. We are today gonna to be updating the Solex C300DC. As you guys can see, the application is very simple. We have our settings right over here, basic standard settings, and you guys can see right over there, we wanna to update to 1.2.7, but I just wanted to have a recording of this and just show you guys the previous settings before we update it, because I'm pretty sure that it's gonna allow us the ability to choose what wattage that we can charge it at. And what we're gonna be charging with it here is an Anchor 200 watt six port GAN charging station. And I'm gonna be using my F1500 to charge the C300. So right now we have one port going into it. Actually, we have two ports going into it, totally an output of 200 watts right now. And you guys can see, these are our settings right now. We have no control over the wattage. So I'm hoping that with this update, we're able to like manually like charge every single one and pick what wattage we want it at. Cause right now, as you guys can see on the F1500, that is what we're getting right now, about 200 watts off of it. And right over here is the firmware update. And you guys can see that right over here. This update optimizes the charging and discharging strategies. So I'm assuming that it will allow us to do it, but we'll just have to make sure and see. So right now I have unplugged both of the cables and we're gonna actually plug one in right now. And we're gonna actually try out to see how many watts we actually get out of a single port, which is obviously gonna be 100 watts because this uh, Anchor 200 watt can only do 100 watts on each USB-C port. Unfortunately cannot do 140 out of one outlet. So we're gonna go be going from 1.2.6 to 1.2.7. And you guys can see all this little update information over here and we're just gonna hit update and see how long this takes and you guys can see over here on the c300 unit it actually has an update symbol on there with an actual status bar so that's actually pretty cool this is my first time actually updating it so you guys will be uh joining me along this update you guys can see right now we're at 6%, 7%, simultaneously having the same exact number on my iPhone. And I'm just gonna speed it up here for you guys so you guys don't take up too much of your time. You guys can see we successfully updated and it only took about a minute and 40 seconds. You guys can see that on my watch over there. So now that we have it updated here, let's go see what some of the new features are. And as we look back at it, I'm not seeing any, any different settings on here. We are at 1.2.7 firmware. Let's see, nothing else actually really in these settings. Let me just go back real quick. Maybe refresh the app and see if there's anything. Everything pretty much looks the same. Let's just try charging it and see if we get like a different option or some other charging strategies that we can use. So with the single port right now, we are still doing 100 watts, which is like right around 93 watts. And still no setting for anything. Let's just go back over here. Still nothing, we're just getting the same exact wattage. Nothing else I can press to manually do anything. And in the settings, it's just the same exact thing, which I'm really surprised about. I really thought there would be some sort of like manual setting where you can set the wattage, like how you can do with my F1500. Uh, you guys can see we're just doing the 93 watts right over here. So if we plug in a second one, just wanna see if there's anything different from what we did before. Seems like it's all doing the same exact thing. We're just getting the standard 200 watts going into it. Right now we have 186, it's 
specifically going into it. 93 watts on each port. I'm trying to press everything on here. No other settings that you can do. No other new settings that have been added after this update. So I'm trying to figure out what it really was trying to do because in my F1500, you guys can see over here, I can specifically select what wattage I want the AC power to you know charge at. And I really thought you could do that with the you know USB-C power delivery port. But it seems like it's all the same. The only way I could actually figure out how to actually put any type of specific wattage is by using a different cable. But other than that, it seems like everything else is the same. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.